Hello Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your mini bonus advice for the week. I meant to post these yesterday, but I'm running a little bit behind on these, so better late than never. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the messages are for this week and focusing on divine masculine energies as well as divine feminine which of course can be a man or a woman it's just energy so let's take a look and see what presents itself here and it is general as always guys so it's not going to resonate with every single person please do take from this what makes sense for you and release what doesn't if you're interested in your own reading that info is down below as well as the link to all of the decks that you see here today scorpio so top row divine masculine energy oracle cards by flames of alchemy and then we'll go ahead and grab a card from this bottom row this is the moody moon messages honoring the cycle of the divine feminine by sister moon tarot all right so let's begin 10 15 minutes just a very short reading here so i'm guided to this one so we've got knowledge coming through for the masculine maybe the masculine is either back in school it could be like a literal meaning of gaining knowledge learning something new this could also be tapped into learning lessons tied into this connection let's see what else grab two from each deck here we have agreement so maybe the masculine has a particular agreement with the feminine on where you guys are at right now so let's grab a message on behalf of the feminine here so we have lost coming through should i stay or should i go Okay, so maybe my feminines, you're just not sure whether this is worth pursuing at this point or not. Let's grab one more here. And we've got mysterious, my boundaries are up. So what I'm getting here when it comes to the feminine, you might be keeping your distance from this masculine at this time. Maybe they're just not even knowing what you're up to. That could also have something to do with this knowledge. They want to be able to figure out what's going on with you, especially since the last time you guys spoke to each other. Maybe they're really wanting to learn where you're at in your heart, what it is that you're thinking, what it is that you're feeling. But my feminines, since you're coming through with this vibe that you're lost and really not wondering, you're kind of at a crossroads here wondering whether you should stay or go as far as this connection is concerned. So let's go ahead and add to this. Let's grab some insight from the Angels of Romance Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. I've actually never used this deck, so I'm going to be seeing the messages for the very first time. Same time that you guys are, so let's take a look. So Scorpio, what else do you need to know here when it comes to this connection all right we've got shadow work healing personal rooted issues so either of you could certainly be in need of having to do this shadow work because there's healing clearly that needs to happen here between the two of you okay let's see what else we've got observing still speculating gathering info that kind of makes sense for me knowledge gathering information about the feminine because these cards these two cards are focused on the divine masculine here they could also be keeping tabs on the feminine okay and my feminines maybe you don't even know that they're keeping tabs on you you know especially if you are coming through with this mysterious energy your boundaries are up you've got your walls up and you're not quite sure whether you want to invest in this partnership with your masculine any further but look at the next card here we've got manifesting goals plans dedication to succeed part of these goals and plans could certainly be the two of you being able to manifest a reunion here if that is of course what it is that you're wanting however this could also apply to both of you individually being able to manifest whatever it is your personal goals and dreams are in your life it could be career related it could have something to do with other relationships that are of concern to you at this time it doesn't have to be romantic in nature okay part of the issue here for some of you guys might have to do with this we do have a battlefield here and it says competition fighting conflicts if what you guys were arguing about might have to do with other people that were trying to interject themselves into the relationship which of course could have been third party situations for some of you or maybe your person was just talking to somebody else or maybe you were however way that's 
presenting itself here. This could have contributed to why you guys either went your separate ways or why you guys are arguing and fighting right now. We do have messages, love notes, texts, emails, phone calls. So I get a couple of things coming through from this particular card. Since it's next to this battlefield card, I feel some of these love notes and texts and emails, phone calls could be from third parties. Somebody that is not a part of this relationship, but ruined it anyway. You know, they allowed themselves to kind of butt their heads into your business here and they shouldn't have been there, but it happened. So some of these messages, Scorpio, could be directed towards you if you got yourself involved with somebody else or it's the person that you're thinking about. The other interpretation of this, of course, could be from your person that either they want to come forward with some form of communication, especially if you guys haven't talked in a while. You know, maybe you've been wanting to hear from them. You might just get that message or maybe you finally get to the point where you're ready to communicate and open yourself up to this person. It could go either way. And then we do have romance, romantic feelings are worth exploring. Absolutely. Especially if you guys still care for each other, if you still love each other and you're not quite ready to let this go. But I feel here that the masculine is in a much better position to be able to reach out to the feminine because right now, my feminines, you're not quite sure, you know, where you stand, where you're at in your heart. Should I stay? Should I go? And so you've got these boundaries up, which is understandable if you were on the receiving end of a partner who was cheating on you, they were stepping out on the relationship, or you guys are just always fighting and possibly fighting about other people who are interested in your person and vice versa. However, that's coming through. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some tarot to this and let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. So for your mini bonus reading advice for this week, Scorpio, let's take a look and see here. This, I forgot to mention my tarot teacher deck. All right, for Scorpio, can you guys get past this? We do have the temperance card, which is Sagittarius specifically. But the message here is that you guys have to be able to meet each other in the middle. And it's also a card of balance and being able to just be patient with each other and be patient with where the situation is right now. Because it might take time for either of you to just get to a point in your heart and in your way of thinking where you'll, you'll be open to talking once again. We've got messages that can come through here, a form of communication. But my feminines, for example, if you're just not wanting to talk to your masculine, there's nothing that they can do to get the conversation going. You know, so if you're not ready, you're not ready. And your masculine has to be patient with that. But the temperance card is a potential for a reunion for you guys to work this out and come back together. But here's the thing with the four of cups. Now cups is water energy. This is your own energy, Scorpio. It can be a missed opportunity for you if either you don't act upon it or if you don't take advantage of what your person is bringing towards you because they can certainly want a reconciliation with you. They might reach out to you and send you a message that they want you back, that they want to work on this. But if, for example, you're a feminine tuning in and if you've got your walls up or you might have blocked your masculine on social media, they can't reach out to you. So if they're sending you these messages, but you've blocked them, it's not going to get to you. So just make sure what's in your heart. Try to figure that out. Um, is it worth working on? You know, is this something that you still want to be able to manifest? If not, you're more than welcome to go in whatever direction you decide to go. But if this is someone that you still love, this is somebody that you still want to build a life with, the offer of reconciliation is heading your way or they're waiting on you to be able to reach out and offer a reconciliation. Makes sense to me because we've got the Six of Cups, which is more of your own vibe. Okay, Six of Cups, happy memories feeling nostalgic. There's healing that definitely needs to happen here. Now, for some of you guys, maybe you've known this person for a very long time. Childhood sweethearts, you guys might have met in school when you guys were younger. And this is another card tapped into reunions, reconciliations. 
familiarity. There's something familiar about this connection that you have had with this person for a very long time. The masculine. Look at that coming through as the emperor. For some of you, your divine masculine is an Aries. Some of you guys could have already had children together with this person. And because of this competition, third parties, infidelities, lies, secrets, you guys were arguing, you were fighting. So if you guys are in separation right now, it just seems to me that they still want to work on this. And if you can get to a point where you can work on it too, Scorpio, then you guys still have a chance. Because you have the chariot here. This is Cancer specifically. This is a triumphant outcome, letting us know that you guys can overcome the challenges of the partnership. Okay, so let's wrap it up with some dialogue messages here. This is my heart space oracle. So let's take a look and see what, what it is that you guys want to say to each other. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio for this mini bonus reading advice for the week. Some of these messages could be coming from you and, of course, from your person. So if you're still upset and if you're not ready to talk, then, you know, you got to honor that. You have to do what feels right for you. But that could go both ways, you know? All right. Ooh, look at that. We are twin flames. Someday you'll know it too. Look at that. So somebody needs to realize that this is a very special twin flame connection. Who's the chaser and the runner now? You guys might have switched roles here. Okay. Look at this next message. You drive me wild. So they still desire you that's for sure or you guys could also have been driving each other crazy because you guys were fighting that could go that way too you can search this world over a billion times and still not find anyone that could love you want you or pleasure you half as much as me but the thing is you know there were third parties and there was cheating and infidelity going on here that is what's presenting itself. And maybe they needed to figure it out or experience life without you for them to finally get it. And lastly, I can't even breathe right without you. You see? So if they want you back, there certainly is the opportunity for a reunion here, Scorpio. All right, so that's what's presenting itself for the week, guys. I hope if you resonated with this, that this offered you advice that'll help you out this week. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you in the next video.